speaking of snow video. Huh. Well, there is a video. And it is France against the Iberian Peninsula. Okay, so let's get going. So, hmm. So maybe Portugal will be rebels too since Spain. Pretend it's Spain from the last scenario where we included Spain and Portugal. Spain got a little bit of land from Portugal and now it collapsed and Spain had to take all of it. So that caused France to take a chance and declare war on it because there was allies with Portugal. So not huge allies, but Portugal started training over here a lot before they joined Spain. So, actually, let me draw Spain's islands over here. Now that's good. So, Spain finally landed a little bit on Corsica, and France gained a little bit of land from Spain. And I know a trick that will help me make you notice that Spain t took out some Corsica. So see that? Yeah, so they took out some of Corsica. So, sorry about that sound, that was just me rushing to get back to the video. So now, Spain was continuing to attack Corsica big time, since I would say that Spain's more powerful than Corsica, but France was continuing to make a little maneuver into Catalonia until France gained all of it. And Spain was so starting to focus a little bit more into its mainland, so, so Corsica actually decided to risk it and took, take a little bit of more land for its mainland competitor, but but France was starting to lose a little bit of land to Spain, and there was some Portuguese rebels in Spain now. So the war is kind of going back and forth. So so. Corsica was taken back by France, and they even tried to take all the islands, but only ended up taking two. This one that I just colored in, and this one that I colored in halfway. Okay, now that looks like they're connected, so yay. They're not connected anymore. But the middle island's the biggest. What was I thinking? Okay. Maybe not that big. Well, this island can have a little bit of room. But this is one thing starts so focusing on the Portuguese rebels and France starts taking back a lot of Spain's land and take the first three islands and even Corsica is now making a landing. They took down the Portuguese rebels but made a huge mistake by focusing king just that numb. But they didn't really have a choice either. Because now France is much stronger in position right now. And, and Corsica's landing was taken back over because Corsica's weaker than mainland France. But France took back the lands that Corsica took, except for like, some of them is already, my phone had to do that. And, and, but then, but then France got cut off. But Corsica 
because truth started to help a lot to the youth. And a lot of land France troops over here too. So they started taking out a lot of these lands. And then they get back got back together and connected. And in the Battle of Madrid happened. And it was a French victory, but Spanish the Spanish cut it off and took back Madrid. And started pushing back France a little bit here until they took back all of that. But Portugal decided to make a little bit of a trickle treat again and decided to ruin the day for Spain. Because France is still a little bit ahead in the war. But the only thing Spain could do was took back the three islands, I mean take back, and get back all these lands that they had from Corsica, and Corsica was taken over, and now it's basically all they could have taken over. Now all they can do is make a little landing right here in France, but Portugal is easily being pushed back by Spain, but in some places Portugal is winning too. But not by much. And Spain easily took back Portugal. And a little bit of land in France was taken again. But France was winning winning in mainland land Spain. And almost connected with Portugal. But but Spain was continuing to be more and more of a problem for France. Until, until France connected with Portuguese armies, they were still a kind of threat. So Fran French kind of was moving towards the Portuguese armies, just giving Spain a chance to connect, which they did. But now the Portuguese are going striking and joining independence again. And France donated a little bit of land that Spain had from them. And Spain had all of its troops in France. The Portuguese rebellion is already winning, surprisingly. And they were easily taking a lot of land from Spain. Until France took a lot of that land. This is a peace treaty. So Portugal is weak, taken by, by itself, and give it a little bit of land over here. And France was given back a little bit of its old, what was given back a lot giving back all of its old lands and even some new lands over here. So that is the peace treaty. I wish you could zoom it in a little bit more. But that is the peace treaty. It kind of looks like a lonely world. Goodbye. I'll see you all in the next video. Well, is the mute? Okay, I'll just sing the song. I can't sing it all. Oh, very good. Okay, so I'm not doing the France win thing or the border thing or anything like that. I'm editing the video. I mean, I mean, not editing, the ending it. Oh, goodbye.